had called my mom and telling me I haven't done anything. So that's why I had, I had grabbed my child and took her school shopping because she said okay. I haven't been doing anything. All right, so let's she be called every other day saying she her her, her about my kids hungry and this... everything. So I, I I do for my child. Okay, so hold on. This is not okay. Clearly, I can tell you have an issue with the mother of your child, but we're it's not. Lie, you work. I ain't got. Hey, on, hey, hey! Listen, stop talking. I can't believe like, you're acting like this. I can't be a man judge or something like. It's just me. Oh, okay, good. All right, and, and this would help if you could be on your camera as well. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> I'll need both of you to raise your right hands for me. Do you swear any testimony you're about to present to the court will be the truth? If so, say I do. I, I do. do. All right. So in this case, um, it's a new case before. So, Mr. Topin, as I shared with you, I'm going to go over some information. If both of you can mute your phones, please. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Topin, you're under an order. You said what now? Mute your phone for me, please. I'm just giving you information on your case. Um, you're under an order to pay child support. Let me see. It looks like you have a daughter who's eight years of age. Um, and thank you guys for putting in the age of the child in the warrant. That really helps a lot when I pull it up since we don't have the sheets anymore, which is fine. We don't really don't need them, but um, the applications. Um, in this case, uh, Mr. Topin, you're under an order to pay $264 a month. You have a 12,000 past due amount. You're supposed to be paying $20 toward the past due amount. Um, your payments were, the last payments that we've received was April, 2024, $201.50. Nothing in May, then in June, you paid $71.50. Nothing in July, and then, or at the end of July, August, there was a payment of $101.50. So you're not consistent on your child support. So the basis of this hearing is to determine whether or not a warrant should be issued for your arrest for failure to pay child support. Take your finger out of your mouth, Mr. Topin. You're acting like a two-year-old child in court. Come on, sit up. Sit up. You're not, you're all leaning back. This is not a joke. All right. Thank you. Um, so you are under an order to pay child support, but you're not consistent with your child support. I don't generally issue an arrest warrant right away. Um, I'd like to figure out what's going on with you, get you on track, find out if your license is already suspended. And that's what we're going to work on today. So it looks like somebody's sitting next to you. I don't know who that is, but nevertheless, this is your hearing and your proceeding. Yeah, so ain't nobody sitting next to me, ma'am. Oh, okay. So you have an eight-year-old daughter. And you've been providing some support here or there, but you're not consistent. So the purpose of my court is to see what, what you're doing, where you're working. Uh, I, I, I do I do pay, but she, I, I send money through cash up because she feel like she can't wait until the, um, until the money proceeds through the app. Okay, so hold on a minute. If you're paying, you'll have to, we'll have to figure out the proof, but you can't pay her the money directly. You have a child support order. You have to pay the money through child support. Well, because she's so, she so like nagging with her voice. I don't want to hear that. I just sent I just sent the money. Open. We're not going to have negative conversations about you or Man, her. All right. We're going to stick to the facts. Now, I, you two chose to have a child together, ma'am. You know who he was, and you had a she child. Me. Sir, this is not how we're going to handle court at all. So you need to understand we're only going to discuss not her voice being nagging, your responsibility. If you're paying child support, I commend you for that. It does not go to mom. It goes directly to child support. Do you know how to pay your child support to your child support portal? Do you know how to pay your child support through your child support portal? Yes, I'm not paying my child. But I just took my child's school school shopping. Okay. Well, you can get. I have, I have the proof for that. I have all that because <laughs> I didn't send through the um the um the little app thing because she. I have I have receipts proof all all for that. Okay. So how much do you think that you've paid um, directly to mom um, over the past, let's say, 90, 60 days? Outside Almost a grain. Probably, probably more than a grain. All right. Well, what you can do is you can take those payments uh, and send them to child support if you want. But the problem is you can't pay. You can't pay mom. You have to pay through child support so this doesn't happen. So she's claiming you're not paying. You're saying, yes, I am. So the only way to fix it is you never give mom direct payments. If you want to take your daughter shopping as a gift because you love her and you want her to look pretty when she goes to school, that's fine, but it doesn't count toward child support. I what sent you her the money for the school through the child support app. 
then paid okay. for the school supply. Then she she came back, called my mom, and telling me I haven't done anything. So that's why I had, I had grabbed my child and took her school shopping because she said okay. I haven't been doing anything. All right, so let's she be called clear. every other day saying she her her, her, her by my hold kids on. hungry and this... everything. So I, I I do for my child. Okay, so hold on. This is not okay. Clearly, I can tell you have an issue with the mother of your child, but we're it's not. Lie, you work. I ain't got. Hey, no, hey, right. hey! Listen, stop talking. I can't believe right, you're acting on, like this. I, I need a man judge or something like. Like you be like, y'all want me to get you? I need a man judge. Stop talking. Can we reset. Like do a. Man okay, I'm going to issue a warrant for your arrest right now if you don't stop talking, being disrespectful to me. I'm going to I'm going to give you one more opportunity to listen to me. I am the judge on this case. There is no male judge. It doesn't matter what the judge is. I don't issue warrants unless you're just refusing to pay. You are so inappropriate in court, acting like you can just say and do what you want. No, you are in my court and you will respect the way I handle my court. First and foremost, if you're paying your child support, it needs to be paid directly to the child support portal. I'm going to ignore your disposition and I'm going to tell you what needs to be done so you don't have a warrant issued for your arrest. In this case, you are under an order to pay the amount of, um, let me go back to this case, position 11. You're supposed to be paying $264 a month directly. So in whatever way you want to pay that, if you want to pay the $264 plus, you've got a repay of $20. Give me one moment, please. Um, $264 plus 20, a man would probably, a male judge would probably already put you in jail today, but you're lucky you have me because I've been doing this for 20 years and I know how to work with fathers to keep them out of jail and keep them on track. So um, if you say something like that, again, I'm going to hold you in contempt and that means I can issue a warrant for your arrest. Sit up and stop laying back. This is in court. Sit up. Sit up. You want to act like a child, you're going to be treated like one. Sit up, sir. 284 divided by two, you either pay 284 a month or you divide it in two and pay $142 every other week in the court and then you're making your child support payments. So I need to know which is going to work for you because I'm going to reset and see how you're doing it. Would you like to pay 142 like on the 5th and the 20th or the 1st or the 15th or twice a month, you choose the date, or do you want to just pay the lump sum amount of 284? You can unmute and tell me what What's going to work better for you so that I can know what to look for in payments for the future? You can unmute now. I I, I can pay. I do the monthly. You'll pay two eighty four a month. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sounds good. So what I'm going to do is reset the case. I'm expecting you to pay the October payment of two eighty four, and then pay the November payment. We're going to look at you in December. I have to watch the case for four to six months before I could dismiss it. And if you're consistent with your payments, the criminal case is dismissed. All right. So it looks like you have been making payments, but unfortunately you haven't been paying them directly. So it's your word against mom. So just pay your child support consistently. I'm going to reset the case in, in uh, December and see how you're paying. If you pay October, you pay November. We look at December, you pay December, and then I'll set the case three months out for the final review. And if you're consistent, then the criminal case is dismissed. Okay. So what, so what day I need to pay the, the 284? Um, any, well, you generally want to try to pay by the 20th of each month. If you could use the 20th as a guide, that would be good that you can consistently pay the payments on the 20th because okay. then it all, it'll make sure it posts that month. Um, okay. That's perfect. Okay. So Mr. We'll Token, be sure to pay this to the child support agency. Okay. I, after all this, I, um, after we have agreed, can I, um, can I, ask, can I say something? Other than apologizing the court for being for being oh, okay, I, I'm sorry for my my outbursts. Okay, well, I, I appreciate that. But what would you? Is there a question you'd like to ask? We so just when I, I pay, don't listen. listen all this, so hold on, Mr. Topin. What I don't allow parents to go low on each other. So that's why I'm being hard on you. I usually say that in my opening. I'm not going to let moms talk about dads because, you you know, they want to. And I don't let dads talk about moms because they want to. I just won't let this is being watched on YouTube on so many people log in. I don't let people disrespect each other in my court. It's not going to happen. So that's why I stopped you. But go ahead. So your child support is due until your child turns 18. But what was your question? OK, since I'm paying the word, let's say three hundred dollars a month. So everything else I do for my child is a gift. That's I understand it's a, it's known as a gift, right? That's correct. So, but many times, can can you make it seem like she have like making money? Like she have she can't reach out, ask for any extra money 
outside the little child support um thing? Um, if she can ask for money and your child can, and if you to help them, then you're welcome to help them. But you're not obligated by the law to provide any more than what the order is telling you to pay. Which okay. is okay. That's that's all I did. That's perfect. That's what I want. Can I speak? This, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let you speak, but don't unmute yourself without. Without me giving you the discretion to Mr. do that. Mr. Chopin, I'd like to suggest that if she needs something extra that you want to help with, you have $12,000 in arrears. If you made an extra payment toward your child support, it would go toward your arrears to take them down and it okay. would help your child. Okay. And, and what's the status of his driver's license, um, Ms. It Parker? is okay right now, but they made a referral on 822 for suspension, so it could be coming up for suspension soon. Okay, so Mr. Topin, right, usually if you go 30 days without a child support payment, they suspend your license. It's not suspended, but now that you're in the court and if you make your consistent payments as you've agreed every month, they'll see that you're making payments and they won't suspend it. As Ms. Carson said, because you have a $12,000 pass due, any extra money that you give, don't give it in a portal or give it to your daughter. Put it in child support and you'll get credit for those extra payments. It'll reduce the amount of the past due and mom will still get the money to provide for your daughter. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let me hear from mom and, and, and give me one moment. I'm going to mute you. Don't unmute. And Ms. Thompson, just let's not go low on this. Let's just stay on the high road, but yes, ma'am, what, what do you need to say? We're moving forward. I'm not going backwards. So you can unmute and, and what would you like to share with the court? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Um, I just want to say that, if the child support payments were being paid, um, my daughter wouldn't have to ask for anything for him. I haven't been receiving anything for the past 60 days. I received $50 on top of my daughter receiving one pair of school shoes. She has not went shopping, school shopping, or anything on his behalf. I have did everything myself. I had to reach out to his mom to even get help for the first time this year. Um, he has not been consistent with even seeing her. So I would like to go about like how, because that's affecting her no, behavior no, in school. No, like, I don't on. know, hold you on, know, what to, what to do as far as that either. Okay, let me share. Let me share with you. First of all, this is only about money. If he is not in your daughter's life and is choosing not to be in her life, um, I'll be honest with you. Typically what happens, again, I've been doing this for 20 years, is... The dads get upset at the mothers and they don't want to deal with the mothers. And because they don't want to deal with their mothers, they then detach from the child because they don't want to go through the mothers to get to their child. So until you guys get to a point where you can have a balanced relationship, both respecting each other, you may not like each other anymore. But if you both work on being respectful toward each other, most dads step up, pick up their child, do what they need to do. But because they don't want to go through the mother, they just don't have a relationship with the child. So I'm being honest with you. I'm not blaming you. But I'm sharing with you that in the 20 years is what I've learned as a judge. That's what stops the father from being in his child's life. Because a lot of times, I'm not saying you're doing it, the mothers kind of use the child as a tool, like you're not seeing my child because you're not doing things the way I want you to. I'm not saying you're doing that. But when that starts happening, the dads tend to just like, I'm done. I don't, I'm going to pay my money and I'm not going to go back and forth. So I would encourage you guys to both find a way to just, at one point, you cared for each other. You have a child to look at what's in your daughter's best interest, pull back on the anger toward each other and all that stuff. Sometimes once dads start paying their child support consistent, consistently, then moms pull down the, you know, you're not going to see my child kind of thing, even though it's both. I don't children. ever do that. Not to cut oh, you no, off, I'm not saying, I don't ever do I'm not, that. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you do, but I'm saying. Okay, that's not the case. Right. Yeah, I didn't say I said if it doesn't apply to you, that's fine. But that's what I have heard from dads of why they pulled back. But if dad also, if you want visitation with your child, you can file a petition to legitimate your child. Has has he legitimated her yet through the court system? He hasn't Mom? done anything as, a, as far as being a father. When he gets a okay. new girlfriend, that just stops. So I'm not understanding. I know, no ma'am. Okay, so if dad wants visitation without working it out with you, then sir, you can file... Um, a petition to legitimate your daughter. It doesn't cost anything but filing fees and the judge will give you visitation rights. But mom, you just continue to be the best mom that you could be. Thank I you. hope you guys can resolve things. Trust me, my clerks will tell you, we've had people who come on here and can't stand each other. Once dad starts providing support, then he breaks down a little bit. 
And then he starts saying, okay, I do want to be in my daughter's life and just little tiny steps towards you guys getting along or being able to at least text, meet her, you know, at a park somewhere, bring her for two hours. So those are things that you guys have to navigate. Unfortunately, this is a criminal court. All I can do is give guidance. So with that being said, you guys worked it out on your own. I understand the frustration that you're having with that mom, especially if baby girl wants to see her dad. But I hope that you guys can work it out. So I'm resetting the case to be able to see both of you. Dad, I'm expecting those uh, monthly payments and it will be October, November. Um, and then we'll see you in December. If you could pay the December payment early, that would be great because we're coming back to court in December for a review, which is the 13th. So if you could try to make that payment before the 20th, then that would give you three credits of payment and I won't issue a warrant. If there's no payment for 30 days straight, then I can issue a warrant for your arrest. And, and another, like and another thing, I have I have um, put in the word to get the um, legitimized, but they, were, they can't serve her the paper. Mm. She don't have a state home. She always on the road, or always on the move. Oh, okay, yeah. So they can't, they can't, they can't catch her at home because she don't. She stays in the hotel. That's not true. That's okay, not both, true. both of you mute. You're not allowed to unmute yourself without my permission. All right, so you need to serve her, mom. You can. You're muted. He's muted. You guys keep violating my rules. You can go fight with each other off my out of my courtroom. I'm not going to allow you to do that in the courtroom. Mom, if you know that he's trying to legitimate your daughter, you can go. What county did you serve it in, Mr. Topin? You can go and pick up the paperwork in the court from the sheriff's department so they don't have to try to serve you. Where did you file the paperwork, Mr. Topin? You can unmute and just answer what county. DeKalb. All right. So you can go to DeKalb County. Mom, you're fussing. I'm not going to go back and forth with the two of you. Um, you can go to DeKalb County since you say that they can't serve you and you say you do have a home. You can go pick up the paperwork yourself. Um, and then the judge could help you guys with visitation and contact. But you know what? I can tell you guys. I mean, he wants to. You don't. You don't. He doesn't. That's between the two of you. All you guys are both doing is interfering with your daughter's life. She wants both of you. Well, your guys are both excused from court. Hope you guys find peace to be able to work out seeing your child. Um, December 13th is going to be the court date. You guys are both excused from court.